So as part of a project reclaiming private land to build a road, letterboxes need to be relocated. Data on the cost of relocating letterboxes on a previous job has shown that the cost per letterbox is normally distributed, so that's going to be important, and we're given the mean and the standard deviation of that cost per letterbox. So we need to calculate by hand the probability that the cost per letterbox on the current job is more than uh, $100 um, each. So what I'm going to start by doing is drawing myself a little sketch of the probability distribution. So we've been told that it's a normal distribution, so when we sketch that, it's going to look like the bell curve kind of shape, something like this. And I'm going to call this x on the x-axis, all right? This is going to be the cost per letterbox. All right, so we're told that the mean cost per letterbox, all right, it's going to be in the middle here, is 94.41. Mark it in as mu. And the standard deviation, I'll just pop this off to the side to remind us, is 8.07. So what we need to calculate is that the cost, the probability, sorry, that the cost is more than 100. So if we mark that onto our diagram, it's going to be somewhere to the right of our mean. All right, and it's going to correspond to the area under the curve in this region. So but since we've been given both the mean and the standard deviation, the test that we're going to be able to use is the Z test um, in order to work this out. So we have our standard normal distribution tables that we can look up uh, what the probability of this section will be. But in order to use uh, that table, we need to convert to the standard normal or the, the Z uh, distribution. So we have an equation to go between X and Z, and that is this one here. So the z value is equal to the x value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So in our case, the x value that we're interested in is going to be the 100. The mean of x is this 94.41. And the standard deviation of x all right, is the 8.07. So if we type that into a calculator, it comes out to about 0 0.69. Okay. So if I convert again into z, the 100 becomes 0.69, and if you convert the mean, all right, it ends up going to zero. You could just apply this equation as well. Uh, the x value would just end up being the mean value, which is 94.41. So you'd end up with a zero on the, on the top line because the x and the mean would end up cancelling with each other. All right, so we were interested in the probability that x is greater than 100 which we can equivalently write now as the probability of z, all right, being greater than 0 0.69, okay, because this is now the standard normal distribution. Alrighty, so what we need to do is go over to our table, so where you're doing a manual way. And what we can see is that this table is quoting us the probability um, of everything up until we reach a Z value. Okay. Now, if we look at what we've got at the moment, it's kind of like the, the flip of that. All right. We want the back end. So what we know is that the total area inside this curve is equal to one. So what we can do is say we want the probability of one minus the probability or the area inside this bit. Okay, because 1 minus this should leave us with that bit we actually wanted. So I should write the area inside here, we could describe as z is now less than 0 0.69. All right, all I've done is swap this over so we get the opposite section. So now this is something we should be able to look up in the table. So if I scroll back across, all right, our z value here is 0 0.69. So we just need to look it up in the table. What we want to do is look down and we see we've got here 0 0.6, all right, and then across here corresponds to the second decimal, so ours was 6.9, so we need to match it up against what's over here, okay, the 0 0.09 for that second decimal. So our answer that we want to draw across is 0 0.7549. Cool. All right, so if we type that into a calculator, we end up with 0 0.2451, and as a percentage, it's about 24.5%.
Okay, so what that's telling us is that the percentage chance of us landing in a uh, cost per letterbox uh, more than $100 uh, is tw about 25%, so quite high actually. So that's pretty much all there is uh, in terms of this video.